All right, so now that we've worked through the on-demand reports, I wanted to show you quickly how to set up an automated schedule for those. So once you build your report, whether it's from scratch or through a template, and you save it um, under the Save Reports section here, if you click on the little clock icon, that'll pull up the new schedule entry. All right, and this is where things are going to become, you're going to see the difference if you're used to scheduling, especially if you're um, within a call center and you're used to scheduling reports through the built-in Shortel or Mitel contact center reports, much easier to do through Brightmetrics. So we'll click on that and we're just going to type in the email address. I'll just use our help desk email as an example here. Um, whatever you want to put into the, to the message or the body of the email. All right, and then we're just going to click on uh, the format, so PDF, CSV, Excel. Uh, if it's a PDF format, you can choose whether you want to display that in a portrait or a landscape, but we'll just do Excel for this example. Uh, the time of day that you want to send it, so maybe I want to get a report sent to me 9 a.m. every day. All right, that's all I have to do here. The filters, these will automatically pull from whatever report that you, you saved, but maybe you want to change it a little bit, and you can change the filter right from here rather than having to go back into your report. The only thing that you might want to keep in mind here, so since I'm receiving a weekly report every Monday, um, the way I save this report initially is showing the last month worth of data. So since this is a dynamic report, I might want to make this um, last week, right? So if I'm getting this every Monday, I just want to view last week's data. Whereas maybe if I'm doing, I want to get a monthly report sent to me every, every first of the month, uh, then I would change this to show last month's data.